Hi, my name's Callista Hudson and after completing my Certificate 3 and Certificate 4 in Fitness, I was named the 2013 Vocational Student of the Year. The Northern Territory Training Awards are held every year to recognise and celebrate the achievements of the Territory's top achievers in training in the NT. There are award categories for apprentices, trainees, vocational students like me, school-based students, vet teacher trainers, training providers and employers. The Northern Territory Training Awards are a perfect platform to showcase commitment and achievement in vocational education and training. Sometimes in life we shortchange ourselves by making fantastic educational achievements and not taking the time to congratulate ourselves. The Northern Territory Training Awards are a perfect way of celebrating your success in education and training. Celebrate your excellence in vocational education and training and be in the running to win a share in cash prizes and represent the NT at the Australian Training Awards. There are 11 training award categories in total. They are the Austin Ash Apprentice of the Year, Trainee of the Year, Vocational Student of the Year, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student of the Year, School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year, Vet in School Student of the Year, Vet Teacher Trainer of the Year, Employer of the Year, Small Employer of the Year, Training Provider of the Year and the Training Initiative Award. My name's Michael Trelaw. Um, I'm employed by a plumbing company called Fred NT. We do a lot of civil plumbing in a lot of remote Aboriginal communities. Um, I nominated for the Austin Ash Apprentice of the Year after winning the um, most outstanding third year plumbing apprentice of the year. Winning the third year plumbing apprentice of the year was kind of the first award I've ever won for work, not really a sporting event or anything like that. And I kind of felt proud of winning that award. I wanted to see what else was out there, what other awards were there that I could kind of go for. Um, and in doing that, um, looking back on the career I've kind of had in the short five years of plumbing, realising things I have achieved and been able to do. After winning the award, I feel more confident. Um, in being able to talk to people in higher up places in the workforce and that. Um, and it's great being able to be named NT Apprentice of the Year, good for your resume and all that. Yeah, it's just a great way to recognise yourself for all the hard work you've put into your career in life, really. When writing your nomination, remember, the judges are looking for the real you. So just write the application in your own words and in your own voice. Write about your strengths and achievements. Don't be shy. Make sure you address each aspect of the criteria and then check and recheck your work. Nominating for one of the training award categories is a lot easier than you think. There's help, support and guidance every step along the way. Visit the training awards website to download the nomination pack for your category. Then just complete the steps in the document. If you have any questions, contact the awards nominations coordinator. Nominations close at the beginning of May. Finalists will be notified at the beginning of June and the Ambassador Preparation Weekend for all individual category finalists is at the end of June. Judging interviews for individual categories will be held at the end of the weekend and organisation judging interviews will happen shortly after that. The gala event, the night when the winners are announced, is on in September. Winners will then be invited to the Australian Training Awards Finalist Week being held in November. And up, there we go, and in. Being a part of the Northern Territory Training Awards has been one of the most fantastic experiences of my life and I really can't recommend it enough to everybody. Be a part of it and good luck with your application. When you're ready.